<laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's almost like real life, little man. You look, Redding, take over hits rocks. Redding, I thought to be close to putting the plug on a consortium's proposed takeover of the club, claiming they had not yet seen evidence that the group possessed enough finance. According to mirrorfootball.co.uk, the leader of the group, Anton Zingarevich, had not revealed that they possessed sufficient funds to agree to take over, which, in fact, turns out to be true because he's cut and run in real life, leaving Reading high and dry because he bought the club apparently without any money. Yeah. So as long as I'm not going to get Anton as chairman anymore. I guess that's been pre programmed because that is far too obvious a thing. Far too real to be a coincidence, I think. Anyway, good. No, Anton. That's a shame, I'm looking forward to a takeover. I'll see who I get. It might happen again at some point. Oh no! Now it's back on. Reports coming out that there's been a breakthrough. John Dacey and the head of the takeover bid, Anton the Garrett, are going well, and there could be an announcement in the next few days. Damn it. He might sack me. I hope he doesn't. Okay, we're going to have this game in full because I'm playing second in the table. Blackburn Rovers, I'm going to go with a 4-5-1. Kind of more defensive approach for this game because, well, it's the top of the table. I could lose. So, it means Williams is going to get a run out in the anchorman position. Uh, nothing else really changed. Maybe give Pab a go on his own because he's probably a better on his own striker without the attacking midfielder to support him. Drenta has been playing fairly well in the last couple of matches, so he'll, he'll stay in. And McEnough, as always, 6.94 average rating isn't too bad. 6.9 for his last five matches, again, isn't, isn't too bad. Uh, so, he can stay in. I think everyone else is okay. I don't think anyone can bring anyone else on to the bench who's not already there. No, let's go for it. Now, Jordan Rose has been scoring a lot of goals. 4-4-2, four, four, that's quite... You know, attacking from them. But they're missing you know, three players. Craig Conway's been very good this season, apparently. I had something in the press conference about him being very good. So I believe them. Uh, Tom Kenny? No. He's a good player. Uh, he probably is a good player as well. Uh, ooh. I know. It's Corey Evans, who's not particularly fit. I thought it was Jordan Rose then. I thought that would be there. That could be good. And normal. Encourage. Uh, no, I'm going to go passionate. You can give the fans their money's worth. They've travelled all the way out to Blackburn. Play well, please. And we're starting off okay. With the ball and keeping it going nicely. Morrison and nothing happened. Oh, throw in to Guthrie. Guthrie and Williamson. Uh, Guthrie came away with the ball somehow. And what happened? Uh, uh, corner. Not sure what happened there. Lots of mess. Oh, corner to them now. And it's a good ball in. And, oh, Good save. But they're, they're still there. Oh, out by Williams. Well done. Marshall. There's still ball. That was a terrible, terrible tackle combo. What the hell were you playing at? Came flying in really wrong time. And it's a goal. Jordan Rhodes, he's going to score from there, isn't he? And that means Blackburn have gone top. And what the hell was Conboy thinking? That was such a terrible, terrible tackle. He just came in. Out from miles back, and Rose puts it into the corner easily. Uh, no chance there for McCarthy, he went the wrong way anyway. Half time it is then, and yeah, 1 0 down. Nobody's playing particularly well. Convoy's got 6.1, but that's mainly because he decided to take out one of their players ridiculously. Uh, we shall go uh, cautious. Show me something else in the second half, please. Not angry, I'm not as angry because Blackburn are second, and but, you know, I would have liked more. Let's put it that way. I've had one shot on target. Need to be more clinical in front of goal, really. And they're straight in the ball, but, ah, oh, Conboy's got it. Wow, this half is boring. Nothing happening. Uh, actually, I need to go to proper tactics. Let's press pause as well. And try and think about some tactical changes. Maybe go 4-4-2. Match up with them better, probably. And... Taking off, we've got uh, Carajan's 94, Guthrie, actually. I'm going 4 4 2, I'll keep a more uh, box to 
box. Let's all get over. Okay, well, we're only box to box on the ball winning, so kind of a space strong midfield there. And take Gutty off and put Alfie on. Don't think there's anything else I want to change. I think that's all okay. So we will confirm and go back and press play. And we may as well go attacking here as well. We may as well lose two or three and one. Forever forwards. Okay, so I thought we had the ball. We haven't got the ball. They've got the ball. And uh, now I've got the ball. And now they've got the ball. And now Kelly just randomly moonwalked away from the ball. Because that's that's how you be the right back, apparently. And they got a corner. And they got a goal. Simple as that. Wow. This isn't a good match. I mean, see, I'm in fifth. I'm still in the playoffs. I'm only nine, <laughs> nine points on Middlesbrough after just 16 games. It's not very good. I'm going to have to pick up here. And who was, how can you leave a centre-back centre all on his own of the near post? That's terrible defending. Well, that's it then. This match is a write-off. Uh, well, we've got two minutes left, 20 seconds left. Convoy, yeah, not good header. Now my defence is, midfield is too deep, and now I've got the ball, and what he was doing there, I don't know. And he put the ball straight back out for a throw. So, all in all, Shit. I mean, Blackburn are now top, so uh, it's forgivable, I suppose, but really assertive. Uh, I'm far from pleased. That was not good enough, I'm afraid. We should be winning this league, and we are fifth, and I'm not happy. And we need to push on. Well, only one point off, two points off third, but it's, you know, those two seem to be getting away a bit. I'm not happy about that. Oh! Wow, well, that came out of nowhere. Uh, a consortium led by Libni based businessman Anton Zagarevich, the turncoat Russian runaway who is happy to leave clubs on the verge of financial ruin because he gets bored of them, uh, has sexually completed takeover at Reading, replaced, replacing former chairman uh, John Modeski. The turmoil is unlikely to be over the Modeski stadium, how with rumours that the new chairman wants to replace current manager Darren Reed. You bastard! Going to the Daily Mirrors in Garage, this is a strong business link with Scotland in the past, and is believed to want to install Alex McLeish. Alex McLeish is the new Reading boss. I'm insulted that he thinks that Alex McLeish would be a serious replacement for me. You, I, that's just wrong. If he does that, I will be furious. Uh, new chairman Anthony Garage has thanked you for your patience during what has undoubtedly been a stressful time for those involved with the club. Yes. Uh, Zingar informs you that the money has been invested in developing the training ground and new facilities. Fantastic, I like that. And that a further 2.3 has been pumped into the Reading Coppers. As part of the taker, a bank loan of 10.9 has been taken out to help with pre-existing debts and aid the day-to-day -day running of the club. Zingar has added, however, that it was always the intention to appoint a new manager for the takeover and a decision on your future this... for the takeover and a decision on your future this will be taken shortly. That doesn't actually make grammatical sense, does it? Zingarich has added, however, that it has always been the intention to appoint a new manager following the takeover, and a decision on your future will be taken shortly. It's Russians for you, they can't speak English very well. Oh. Chairman Anthony Zingarich is pleased to announce a new transfer budget. Uh, the amount of money available for transfers is now 1.6 million. Well, well done. You've increased it by about 200,000. Fantastic. God, I don't like you already. Uh, oh, well, I'll do this press conference as well. Uh, Reading have a new chairman in Anthony Garovich. Are you excited to work under a new boss? No, I think he's a fuckwit. Um, it's an exciting time for the fans, much as anything, and I'm keen to build a new relationship with the people around the club. Yes. It's fair to say Reading didn't have the best times against Blackburn. No, we didn't. So you're looking for a reaction. We'll drive the team on to better. Uh, Blackburn will continue for the push against Leeds. Uh, I, it won't be an easy for any team, but clearly Blackburn are one of the favourites to go up. Yes. Sorry, I just saw the picture of Zingarovic. Wow. Just. Wow. Is that an ageing man with cornrows? A white ageing man with cornrows. That. Sometimes the random face generator has some fun, and it certainly had some fun with Anton there. Oh well, couldn't happen to a nicer man. One thing that has come about because of the takeover is I've now allowed more coaches. Which is fantastic, because I was 
kind of I didn't have enough. I didn't have as many as I'd like. So what can I have? I can have other staff. So I can have another two coaches. I can still get an under twenty one assistant manager, uh and under twenty one's manager and under eighteen's manager and another four scouts. So I may as well use it. I may as well do it. Shouldn't I like there, there, there. Might and I? And look, I'm only halfway through my wage budget now, which has gone up massively. So what shall we do? Let's go to jobs, job centre, place advert, scout, yes, place advert, coach, yes. What is my training like? Coaches, fitness coach, fitness coach, fitness, I've got a lot of fitness coaches. Ed, when does your... Seriously? You're 50? Doesn't look like a 50 year old face. When do you run out? Uh, 2015. Because oh. you're really not good enough, are you? It'd be tempting to let him go. How many... All my coaches are fitness coaches. Matt Hyrons. When are you looking like you're running out of contract? Where is it? Uh, 15 as well. I'm going to leave fitness coaches for now. I'll sort that out at the end of the season and just go with normal coaches. Don't need fitness, don't need goalkeeping. Uh, yes, I'm just going to ask manager. Assistant manager. Under 21's coach. Might get some uh, ex pros. That's always nice. End up hiring Frank Lampard in one of my games. He turned out to be really good under 21 manager. Uh, goalkeeping coach. Okay. Uh, oh no, I don't really want that. I can only have one more under 21's post. So there we go, lots of star. Yay! New chairman Anthony Garrish has informed you that you will be allowed to stay on as manager of Reading. Impressed by the support for your management at the club, has been persuaded to allow you to remain in charge. Fantastic. I have now got a transfer embargo in place. <laughs> Reading have announced that the plans to improve their training and uses have been scrapped. Reading chairman Anthony Garrish stated that although they had promised the money would be made available, they no longer see the importance of such an investment. Oh, great. Take over and then you promise promise the world and deliver nothing. We've got a FA Cup draw. Colchester Bless, please. Uh Hudson, no. Orient, yes. Uh as ever I don't want anyone for my league, because that's just boring. Above is fun, below is a way through to the next round easier. But only you play them anyway, so it's a bit boring. Uh, Torquay, League 2. Ah, that'll do. Not too bad. Should be able to get through that one without too much trouble. Might be able to play a... a, a... Really there, there. Rest a few players. That'd be good. The applications are in. It's time to rustle through them and see what I can come up with. Who do I want? Uh, I kind of need just general coaches because I just need bodies. Uh... I've already offered this guy a contract previously and he didn't want it. You know, it's quite good because you want determination, discipline and motivating work for everything. They, they affect all the different uh, aspects of coaching. So if you have someone good there, then that's what you look at first. And then you look at the kind of coaching attributes as opposed to the mental attributes afterwards. Uh, yeah, I think he wants yeah, he 3.7. I can offer him 2.2. So that's a no. Aaron Winter. 46 year old Dutchman, uh, what have we got? 12, 9, 13, that's not too bad. Technical and attacking, pretty good. So he's an option, and he would be free. Uh, Paul Winsper is a fitness coach who does very good fitness. Very good motivating, very good determination. Let's approach to sign. I know I didn't. I know I said I didn't want a fitness coach because I got like fourteen thousand of them. But this guy is just too good to turn down. Really, let's offer him one point five. 
1.5? You want 1.7? How about 1.6? You want 1.6? Do you want 1.6? I just offered you 1.6, and now you're saying you want 1.6. Well, that seems like that's the same. Uh, 1.6? 1.6. Finalised deal. Uh, so I will probably set it up on my fitness coaches that I've got millions of, and then if I if I sack them, hopefully they'll agree, and then I will be able to hire some more kind of general coaches. Uh, Billy Stewart, who are you? Uh, goalkeepers? Yeah, pretty good goalkeeping coach. I don't really need a goal. Well, I do, but... Paul Bowden. Didn't you used to play for Reading? Yeah, thought he did. Uh, he played, what, 40, 41 matches, scored a goal. Uh, was a defender, I believe. Uh, Paul Bowden, you are... Uh, 13, 12, 13, defending, not bad. You're, you're not bad. Th uh, season. Uh, 14, 11, 11. Ooh, I think Bowden's better. And uh, Richie Williams, American, 43 years old. Good at mental, motivating. He is probably even better. Is he defending? Yeah, I think he's actually better. Right, so what you want to do is stop advert. Go to our coaches. Training coaches. Uh, who Who is worse? Ed. Oh, sorry, Ed. Ed, will you? Mutual, mutual termination? Yes. 35,000. Confirm. Right. So, oh, there's like Nigel Atkins. You are, you are a very good goalkeeping coach. You're not currently interested in entering into contact discussions. Okay, that's fine. I will wonder why you applied to the job, but um, may you change your mind. That's fine. So it's Billy Stewart who's. Um, a good goalkeeping coach. Uh, do you want to just be a goalkeeping coach? Uh, you want you want a coach? Okay, that's fine. I can just put you on goalkeeping anyway. And then I have one more spot left for was it Richie Williams, who was uh, fourteen for descending, descending, defending, or Bowden. I want Williams. 2.2, that's my maximum. I'll go 1.9. 1.9? Or 2.1? How about 2? You you want 2. Two's fine. There we go. That's 3, 1 gone. Good job. And I, was it 4 scouts I can have now? Uh, Don Givens, 15 and 11. Uh, potentially it's probably more important than ability, so I can kind of see ability myself. Uh, it's, it's potential you don't really see, especially when you're playing the game properly. Uh, Approach design because with the coaches there is a calculator which gives you the exact what they're going to be good at. I kind of have to guess because I don't use that because that's cheating. Uh, Ron Bone has a good name. He's seventy-one years old. So you don't get much out of him because let's face it, he's going to be dead soon. Seventeen, seventeen. He'd be a good good scout. But I fear it's not worth spending money to get away from Middlesbrough for him. Kit Carson, seven eleven. Who told you you were a scout? Because you're not. Uh, Luke Warrington, 12-10, nope. Hammerson, 12-12, will be free. Yeah, because I've got to fill up the 600, off you 5. Never off of what they asked for. 5-7-5, you'll, you'll take 5-5, five, five, won't you? Yeah, 5 50. And John James, 16 12 79, maybe not. Why are you applying for new jobs when you're that old? Paul Wozni. 11-11, no. Roger Smith. 13-15, yeah. 67, only 30k. You've got a couple of years left, didn't you? 1.1. And I'll continue that advert because I'm not sure I got who I wanted. Okay, now we've got the under-18 manager. 
Who we got? Oh, well, you see, I told you, X Pro's coming for these matches. Stephen Carr, six for working with youngsters. I mean, really, he wants someone who's best. Working with youngsters is the thing for this, isn't it? And maybe uh, four four two direct is not very well instilled in my players. JJ Kocha, four. Working with youngsters, four. Yet you want this job. <sighs> Four two four. Wow. Uh, Klaus Jensen. Thirteen. That's better. Tactical knowledge is five. Or Craig Johnston. Fifteen. Well, I'm tempted to say Klaus Jensen then. You're one point one. Under eighteen's coach. It was actually under 18's manager I was wanting you for. Uh, there we go, 1.3. I'll offer you 1.2. 1.2? Yeah. I like to hire ex pros as well. Don't know why. Uh, stop ad, I can have one. Uh, JJ Okochi was not good enough. What about this? Who wants this? Uh, Boxich. Not very good. He's adaptable, but other than that. Oh, there we are. Hello, Ray. Look at that. Last two. Almost his last two. Oh, he got relegated. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Ray Houghton. Wow, he's not very good, is he? Fitness, one. Goalkeeping, one. Attacking, four. Defending, four. He's got nothing. Peter Shirtliff. Oh, I don't really see any of these being very good. Well, I'm not entirely sure what I need for a, an under a 21 manager, if I'm honest. Motivating a discipline and determination. It seems like it's an extra. David Weatherall. 20 for youngsters. So much. Ooh, you look good. Tactical knowledge nine. It's better than most of them have been. I guess that's good for a under twenty-one. So David Weatherall. Who did you used to play for? Was it Everton? No, Bradford. Of course it was Bradford. Wow, you played for Bradford all the way down the leagues. But yeah, you're you will get an offer for under twenty-one manager. I thought it was under twenty-one manager I wanted. No, it was the under one's assistant manager. Well, yeah. You know what, 925, I will offer you 850 wave compensation for managerial roles. I've not seen that before. Uh, yes. I will let you go for a manager. Uh, stop advert, and no. Right, just an under 21's coach now. Who have we got? We got uh, Matt Busby. Wasn't. He manager of Manchester United at some point. Uh, he's under twenty one's coach. So Stephen Carr again. Working with youngsters is again quite important. Wayne Allison. Wow, he has got nothing about him mentally, has he? Well, he's determined. That's about it. Can't motivate shit. Uh, JJ Acocha. I see. Oh, it's just. I know he's only four with working youngsters, that's the problem, but I'd love to hire him just because he's JJ Acocha. Lee Bromby, hello. Defending, you're not bad. Motivating, not great. Um, yeah, you'd be good. Oh, Lucas Radaby. Oh, oh, hello, you're good. Yeah, Lucas Radaby. It was under-21's coach, wasn't it? Yeah. 900. Uh, off your 8. Not an 8.50? I'll give you 8.50. I just like hiring ex-pros who are amazing, like Lucas Radby. JJ Koch would be amazing, he's just not very good. And now the under-18's assistant manager. 
I think you'd be good under 18 as assistant manager. Because you've got you've got 15 for youngsters. That's good. Ray Houghton. Again, I'd love to hire you just because you play for Reading, but I remember seeing you play. But no. Uh, you. Pretty good. Ian Foster. Mental man management. Oh, he's actually better, isn't he? Yes. I want you. You're going to cost me 8,000. That's okay. You are the best one there. Stop advert. Yes. Uh, under 21's manager. Uh, again, all the same people. Goalkeeping coach? No. Bob Booker. Very smiley man. Can't work with youngsters. Greg Johnson. Yeah. Wayne Allison, I think I looked in before. It wasn't up to much in the mental department. Steve Kember. Ooh, 19. Tactical wise, 12. Playing style. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Man management, 17. JJ Cotter is. Uh, no, no, I, I can't. Matt Busby. Under 20... Oh, he would have been a better under 18s manager, maybe. Uh, but it's got to be... Was it him? No. Was it... Craig Johnston? No. Who was it I like the look of? Steve Kember. Yes, it was Steve Kember. Under 21 manager. 1,000. Will you accept it? You want 1.1. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, stop advert. Whether all accepts. Good. Right, we can go back to my training now. Go back to my coaches. And what do I want? Do I want strength or aerobic? Stamina strength. Aerobic is uh, pace, agility, balance. That means I can put Nick Harvey over here. Um, Matt Hyron's on both, just to you know, even the load. Actually, just put him on uh, strength. With Winspur, those two can do that one. Richie Williams is best at ball control, apparently. I thought you were going best at uh, defending, weren't you? Yeah, you're better at defending. So that means I can take you off defending. One twenty-one assistant manager can train my first team. Wow, fantastic. Uh, you can come off there, so Sal has... Only one thing to do, which is better for him. Defending. Uh, Andy Crosby needs to do that. What do you want to do then? What are you best at? You're best at defending. 14. Oh, yeah. What are you like? You're 3. Well, you're, you're not as good as... What about attacking? You're only 2 at attacking. Ball control. If you do three at ball control, then Dean Wilkins can concentrate on attacking at three and a half. Still got two for shooting. You better... If I put you on attacking, is that... No. I can take you off, you're very good at tactics. I need one more, don't I? Uh, Matt. Sorry, mate. Really sorry. But you're a bit shit. Will you accept a mutual termination? But until then, I'll put you on attacking just to keep it ticking over. And then I will find another coach. Uh, 